Hello, Aries. Hello. <clears throat> and welcome to Mystic Ashram. I'm Dharamkar Finley. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I have pulled a spread from the quick and easy tarot deck um, and a clarifier from the past life oracle cards at the end, which I hope to share with you right now. Um, now, in the past, what I'm seeing is that you had... Uh, someone who was trying to cheat you and they took something from you, uh, information or financial accounts. Um, they were very powerful. Um, you probably didn't see it until it was way too late. This could be identity theft. It could also be people cr claiming credit for your work. Uh, something along those lines. Um, in your current position, you have uh, limits on your income, which show no sign of improvements. You have very bad debts, missed payments. Uh, you're out of control financially. You may have been uh, passed over for a raise or a bonus that you were expecting. Money is lost due to perhaps a lack of knowledge. Maybe you just haven't kept up with things as well as you should have. It is a bad time to invest in um, ventures. No support for your business or financial plans where you are. And there is slander or gossip about you circulate. So you, you feel that perhaps those surrounding you are criticizing. Now, this is partnered uh, unexpectedly. They were, they were connected until the very last moment with the magician, the number one card here. And... This is, you are well suited for business, science, and high tech fields. You are a risk taker and an overachiever, highly organized, and tremendous powers of concentrationaries. You are flexible and creative. Determination and the strength of your personality will overcome problems. Take charge and take action. The card of personal power. So this is you, magician. And so whatever scenario you find yourself in, no matter the situation, you can figure out a way to proceed through this. Um, in your headspace is also another unexpected dual card set. One is the Six of Swords, which is usually this man and this woman traveling, but it is upside down. So this would indicate that you would like to travel, but lack the means. And it, it is partnered with the Four of Cups, <clears throat> which is this man is under the tree and he's very sad. See him, he's very, very sad because he has these three cups, and they're all empty, uh, and I guess he's thirsty, but he has out of this cloud one cup being offered to him, which is behind his shoulders, so he doesn't see it yet, but there is always that one cup for him to drink from and fulfill what he needs, and it says, uh, for the Six of Swords, you are able to rise to the occasion when necessary. You thrive under adversity, Aries. Tra trouble is invigorating, and you are bored when life is too easy. Challenges are really just opportunities. Quick responses, fast thinking, action is needed, your instincts are good. So this... This is uh, that Mars warrior energy, Aries, propelling you forward. And its partner is the Four of Cups. You become increasingly dissatisfied with a focus on material possessions. You need something more in your life. Emotional exhaustion. A loss of interest in normal activities. Depression, self-absorption. You must take action if you are going to find the answer to happiness. So, um, you, you make, stay in the same holding pattern, you get the same results, sorry. Um, so this has something to do with location and being stuck. 
And then in your foundation right there, we have this uh, star reversed card. Star is uh, the, the card of Aquarius, and you might have issues with people dealing with the sign of Aquarius right now and Aries. And in this, it says, fear of failure holds you back. You are dwelling on problems, a minor run of bad luck, lost hope and pessimistic thoughts, lack of motivation, insecurity, and self-doubt. Give, way, give away some of your money to keep money flowing into your life. So you need more exchange. You're being too much of a homebody. Get out there. Mingle. Uh, give of yourself in some way. Chance of mental illness in yourself or someone close to you. So you you want to break those patterns of depression if at all possible. Aries and get out of Dodge if you can during the summer in the northern hemisphere, winter in the southern. Now, <clears throat> in your near future, you have the Page of Pentacles, and this is a very interesting card because this speaks of somebody who is a younger person who is bearing uh, an innovation, or this could be a new type of technology or innovation or music or art or something that you're interested in pursuing. It signifies a male under 30 who is high-spirited, engaging, and optimistic. Makes friends easily, sociable, charming, intelligent, educated, with good common sense, loyal, honest, trustworthy, thinks before he speaks. This person trusts you, looks out for your best interests. He will have an effect on your life. And considering it's pentacles, it'll probably be in our sign. So, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. And they will come into your life with some sort of new idea or innovation or way of doing something. And you'll pick up on it. And this will provide you with the necessary impetus for the rest of your ventures propelling you forward. Now, this is a good one. This is interesting. This is the death card in reverse. And so death in reverse. There is no change. And it says, life focuses on instinctual, sexual, animal, and base needs. Physical needs take over. Fear of financial troubles affects all decisions. Possible loss of home, job, financial stability, reversal of fortune, see to your own needs, build up a reserve, savings and insurance will help guard against disaster. Keep a reserve of money. I'm sure you try to, Aries. I'm sure if you, you ha don't already have that, you probably work on, towards that all the time. Now, this doesn't tell you anything you don't know already. However, what, it, what it's really saying is you're very caught up in just pursuing needs, basic needs. And that might be uh, forgetting about stopping and smelling the roses, as they say in English. Now, Eight of Pentacles. This is a very hard worker. This is somebody who uh, possibly owns their own workshop, who has skills that are valuable to others. It says, pay attention to the details. Errors and sloppiness may be your undoing. Check all work for accuracy. Hard work will be satisfying and successful. There is no such thing as a get-rich-quick path for you. Apply yourself, work smart, learn a new trade or profession, upgrade your skills. <clears throat> be very cautious with money. Good time to begin a profitable venture. So this is suggesting some sort of cottage industry, some sort of manual skill or labor, but something that is fairly recent or newer technologies, uh, something you you never tried before, and you give it a shot, and it works, and people like it, and it's enough to stimulate the change that you need in your finances. Now, why is this occurring? 
Uh, this isn't hopes and fears of the future. It's a lack of maturity and self-control, a pushy, domineering bully, a self-centered person, danger of serious injury or in competition or battle, loss of prestige, shame, loss of job, loss of control, abuse of power, and domination. So it looks, Aries, like although you don't like victimizing your scenario, um, this is a, some sort of a person or organization much bigger than you uh, who saw their chance to take you out and they chose to take you down a peg or two somehow. Um, that is your fear of, of what's going on. Now, what is actually going on, what the conclusion of this is that I need to tell you, is this indicates a male over 40. This is the King of Cups card. It is someone probably with a lot of water type energy. So I would go with Scorpios, but also Cancers or Pisces, any of the water signs. Uh, this is, might be a complicated scenario indicates a male over 40, a secretive, elusive man who is plotting against you, openly bigoted and narrow-minded. This man holds a grudge. He may be involved in difficult moral decision. You may lose your virtue, innocence, or money through this man. Do not trust him with your heart or possessions is what this is saying, and this is saying if you have um, some sort of legal scenario or some sort of, um, you're going up against some sort of magistrate or something like that, um, this is uh, definitely watch, watch whoever you're doing business with right now, Aries. Save yourself time and trouble and heartache and do not bring your emotions to the table is what I'm getting. Um, do what needs to be done. This, this, which is realizing what's lost over your shoulder and then getting, changing this to the upright, getting in the boat and changing everything. <clears throat> I would also recommend that if there's a new track that you can go on in terms of skills, some home-based skill that in you enjoy, that you do, you make things for people, they take them and give you money. This is the skill you need to be doing right now. And this is your primary focus, which really goes a long way towards um, explaining that reversal of death where life focuses on just bare essentials all the time and that's all that matters. This was a past life greeting card about food and hunger and it's pretty rare that I, I even draw this card. It doesn't come up very often when I use this deck so it's very special. And for I, I believe what it's informing me here is, is that um, in your past lives you went hungry quite a bit you may have a tendency in this life to hoard and purge food or to um, guard whatever resources you have to your chest very heavily. And, and it is important to uh, have savings and, and residual, but um, it is also important that you share and allocate those and uh, create a cycle, a replenishment. This also, according to the book, says, do not um, fear that you will ever be hungry again. You need to realize that you may have experienced that in this lifetime, but you will never experience that the same way again. And to let that 
resolve into feelings of eternal abundance and and the ability to gather the resources we need and consume them in process them in a healthy way so this speaks of many lifetimes of hunger that you had and that this has created a fighting spirit for you Aries that you wish to um, have the resources the the base necessities taken care of at all times that is where your foundation is and the book says yes but that's not a feeling of abundance if you have more of a feeling of abundance and yielding about using a little bit of your reserves perhaps for others then Aries it will come back to you multiple fold um, that that and and this feeling of lack with this hunger this food issue um, that feeling of lack is what is contributing to the ever mounting cycle of bills um, so I hope that in some way shape or form this has been helpful um, and to you Aquarius and heals you in some way Satnam it has been my pleasure and I hope to see you very very soon thank you so much for joining me till next time I'm Dharamkar Finley and this is Mystic Ashram please subscribe because I only have 450 subscribers it's so embarrassing okay save me from embarrassment just subscribe already you know you could also leave money it's down below all right thank you and many many blessings see you next time take care